we back. Yeah, I took a weekend off. Bro, you would think by my Twitter mentions that I was gone for two weeks. I, it was two days with no uploads and the world was on fire for my mentions. So, I mean, that just means y'all really rock with the videos and I appreciate that. But let a brother relax sometimes, okay? So not only am I going hard here on klt for q uh, my other channels, Kenny and klt for q Reacts are all about they hit hard with a bunch of videos. So go subscribe to those. So I was looking through the comment section of one of my last videos and I saw somebody offer up a challenge. Y'all know I'm accepting as many challenges as possible. So leave them in the comment section. This one came from a, a, a character named alpha chipmunk he said the field jackson challenge now i saw that and i was like say less i love me some field jackson for helping us win those six championships four of which happened before i was even born thank you field jackson so the challenge goes um win a three-peat with one team then win another three-peat with with another team i forgot a twist so you must use the triangle offense why do y'all feel like y'all need to throw a twist in every single challenge, bro? Why, why do y'all feel a need to try to make it as difficult as possible? There's a reason the triangle offense ain't being ran no more. Rest in peace, Tex Winter, the originator of the triangle offense. But there is a reason players don't use it anymore. Triangle offense was only successful with two of the greatest players of all time. You need that, that mold of a guard that is so elite. Kobe, Jordan. So hopefully in today's video, I can do that. Hopefully I can win two different repeats buckle in it should be a long video leave a like and let's get to it y'all know the rules around here we randomly select our team and this is going to be the first team we do our three p with we're going to stop and three and two and one and we run it with the portland trailblazers for the first half of this video and the way we're going to do things is that um, i'm going to do the same exact thing and randomly select the other team after we're done with this three p if we get this three p done because three p ain't easy three p ain't easy okay so we ended up with a top 10 pick a number nine pick and the top guy available is damian lillard yo we're here in portland and we could get dame his championship not just one but three that'd be that'd be incredible that'd be incredible only time will tell did they take him did they take joel and b who was a younger player you know they they usually try to take that youth so let's see what they end up going with and they got dame galanari marvin bagley oh my god the trade pieces i can see it davis bertans thomas bryant uh, Jeremy Lamb, Mikel Bridges. Yo, this team is not bad at all. I'm actually digging this team right off rip. They also have Anthony Simon, who, again, is another player that actually plays for the Portland Trailblazers. So, you know what? We have a star. Ah, beautiful. Again, it's not every video where a brother walk out with a star or start off with a star. Marvin Bagley's trade value is four stars, but I bet you if I made him a power forward, he's an 85 overall. Wait, what happened? What happened to him? Look at that. It went from four star to four and a half star. So we're definitely using him as a big time trade piece. We got some big old contracts like Gallinari. We could throw attached to that. Um, we got Thomas Bryant who's only 22, but he's only two and a half star. We got Mikhail Bridges. Shout out to the homie three star value. Landry Sham is two star. We got trade pieces, which is a beautiful thing. Now, before we do anything, we have to fire our coach. I know it's gonna, it's gonna make it's gonna make sense. I know Terry Stotts one of the better coaches in the NBA in the NBA, but we have to do this. We're gonna hire a, a head coach. Um, I guess I'll hire Trent Peterson, right? We're gonna hire Trent Peterson, but he's not gonna be Trent Peterson. We are creating Kenny Hardaway Senior, the father of Kenny Hardaway. Yeah, you know who Kenny Hardaway is, right? Right? If you don't. Go watch the videos on my other channel, man. Kenny Hardaway is our uh, our my career player. So we're making his father. Let's let's get a a face that would actually make sense for him to be his pops, which would be just can we just get a black male, please? That is um Nikola Pekovic. That is Archie Goodwin. I don't know who this is, but he's too young to be. I need like an oh that's Trey Burke. What do they do? What are they doing? That's Garrett Temple. Can we just get a, a older black male? That's, that's what, that's, is that Jeremy Evans, former slam dunk champion? What are they, that's Jason Maxeel. I don't know what they're doing. And that's Francisco Garcia. Oh my God. Okay. That's Steve Blake. Why is his hair like that? Oh my God. What are they doing in 2K? All right. I'm going to keep screwing. Okay. That's an older African-American male. Perfect. All right. So his attributes, we're going to keep the same. He's a A offense, B minus defense. Play style, again, we have to play active system, triangle, preferred system, triangle, and 
Well, since he since he is me, is it the older version of me, my pops, I could pick what our okay. I actually like transition shooting threes and um high IQ, bro. Y'all know I love me some smart players. We're gonna go slightly towards the guards. Inside versus outside. We're gonna do more outside, man. More outside. And now we have the next guy. Our boy Kenny Hardaway Sr. The next head coach to run the triangle offense in the NBA. We have Gennaro Pargo as an assistant coach. And I had no idea to this moment that the assistant coach of the Portland Trail Blaze was Gennaro Pargo. You learn something new every single day. All right. Let's get to doing some trades. Marvin Bagley and Gallinari. You know, I'm just doing trade finder right here. But I may actually build my own trade because trade finder not looking like the move. Like, come on. What is this trade offer? The Grizzlies have Ben Simmons. Hey, eh? Ben Simmons. I'm adding to the target list. Let's talk to about Ben Simmons. And I just have him run the small four for us. You know how the things go. His overall will even go up as a small four. And he'll be more effective. Now, if you watched the video from me, like... Shoes. That was like a week or two ago. Ben Simmons was the greatest player of all time eventually. He ended up winning like four MVP, six-time champion. He was just killing the game. So I need that right now. Straight up, they said they don't like this trade. No big deal because we'll also throw you a younger player like Glenn Robinson the third is still considered a young player. We'll give you a first-round pick a second. Y'all know we love throwing in two seconds. And they always say yes. They always say yes once you throw those two second-round picks into it. So now he is our starting small forward backup point guard situation here for Ben Simmons. Beautiful. How would have Ben Simmons fare in the triangle offense? I don't know. If he uh, if he's trash, we'll trade him away. Simple, because his trade value, now that we traded for him and made him a small forward, his trade value is almost the same as Damian Lillard's. So that's a good trade to be our two-headed monster here. But now let's work on our front court. Because having Davis Burt as a Thomas Bryant ain't really work out for the Wizards. So I doubt it's going to work out for us. So let's try to make a trade. As big as a Bulls fan I am, I don't know much about the triangle offense. Uh, I know it worked beautifully with Jordan and with um, with Kobe. Rest in peace again. Um, but I don't know much about it. So I don't even know what I should be looking for with the triangle offense. You know what I'm saying? Like if I was doing space and pace, then I mean, yeah, I need a fast guard and some shooters. If I was doing um, a post-up, I know I need a good post-up player. But running the triangle offense, I legitimately do not know what the focus of the triangle offense is to know. Uh, so I, I got an elite guard, an elite small forward. I mean, he's a 92. I'm going to call that elite. Uh, and I just traded for Vucevic, who is a good center. A right, good center. So let's go find that shooting guard piece because right now Jeremy Lamb is our starter, which is not bad. Jeremy Lamb is a good NBA player, but I'd rather get an upgrade there. If I can have Jeremy Lamb as that backup, I think it'd be perfect because uh, Jeremy Lamb, again, a nice NBA player. So we're going to go John Henson, Anthony Simons in the first round pick, and this is going to get us our starting shooting guard. It's going to be like a Buddy Hill type player. Why is they offer me Buddy Hill somewhere here? Da oh, Dante DiVincenzo, eh? Bro, I really love Dante DiVincenzo's game. I think he's a nice up-and-coming player in the NBA. 80 overall at this point, and I'd have him under contract for at least two of our three years. Kind of like that. I kind of like that. We got Karis LeVert. Um, where's Buddy, though? Where the heck is Buddy? I was hoping to see Buddy healed. But instead, I will go with the, the younger guy. I'll go with Dante DiVincenzo. I'm going to have him be, like, mentored by some of our, our older cats. I'm going to have Dante DiVincenzo at, like, an 85 overall by the end of this 3 P. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. And Willie Collins is coming to the team to be a backup. I know he ain't had the greatest of a career so far, but as a backup, shoot, I take Willie Collins. Stein. While I'm figuring out this next trade, I talk to y'all, man. I went through this big old rabbit hole. We're like slow. We're slowly, uh, impatiently waiting for the NBA season to come back. I see a lot of good trades here for Willie Collins. Stein, by the way, um, but I like the Brandon Clark one just because he's going to be on a rookie contract for at least two seasons, and I know for sure he gets better and better. And uh, he'll mess around and start for us to start off the season, right? He'll be our best power forward. Yeah, he'll be our best power forward. And we don't need Bertans and Bielitsa. So I may flip Bielitsa because Bertans is a is a sniper. But one thing Bielitsa has over him is the fact that he's under contract for two seasons while Davis Bertans is not. Huh. Five-year difference between the two. I probably have to trade Davis. As much as I really like Davis Bertans, I, I know I won't be able to bring him back. So let's trade him right now. Let's get the value for him. But what I was saying before I went on that little rant or, or tangent is that I went down this rabbit hole of just watching a bunch of like old highlights and games that I didn't even know exist. Like I watched that boy. Um, who's not a bad trade here. I watched Michael Red drop 47 points and he did it so fluently. I was like, man, 
whew, I just forgot how good of a player Michael Red was. And the reason I'm bringing that up now is because I also went to a video where uh, our backup point guard, who right now is DJ Augustine, lighting people up. Like, like he had a couple really, really big games in his career. And I watched one of those games as well. So I really recommend, bro. I know it's easy for us to like go through and watch highlights of the best players in the NBA. And because, I mean, they're literally the best. But sometimes them like second tier, third tier players can surprise you a game and have the game of their career. And you're like, bro, where did this come from? And that's exactly what had happened with, um, I think I'm going to do this trade. This is exactly what had happened when I was watching DJ Augustine. Now, remember, DJ Augustine still got a special place in my heart because if you did not remember, you do not know. DJ Augustine spent, uh, as you can see, he spent some time here in Chicago and he was a uh, backup. And we had this thing with the Bulls where we would uh, have just a bunch of small backup point guards. Nate Robinson, DJ Augustine, Gary Lucas, the, wait, John Lucas the third. Who the heck is Jerry? Jerry Lucas. All right, I didn't Google it. He's another NBA player. Why did Jerry Lucas's name pop up in my brain? Hall of Fame. Hall of Famer. Played for Cincinnati and got a lot of buckets. Shout out to him. But for some reason, his name came to my, my brain instead of the other. Uh, but yeah, go, bro. I'm telling y'all, go through those rabbit holes, bro. It is fun. It is undoubtedly fun to just watch random highlights. Like I watched some Antoine Jameson. I even though Antoine, I knew Antoine Jameson got buckets. Let me let me take that back. I knew Antoine Jameson was getting buckets, but not to the degree that he was in the videos I was watching. Watch the game where him was he was going against Kobe Bryant, and him and Kobe both had like 50 each. <laughs> what? What? Yes, both of them had 50 each, and it's just a good old duel, huh? I just can't wait till we get basketball back so we can see that again. I'm going to do this trade because I know for sure Karis LeVert's contract is extended. We're going to be super in debt, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Now, the reason we traded for Karis LeVert when we already have a good backup shooting guard because I want to make him a small, our backup small forward. And I think we're done. And if things aren't going well and uh, halfway through the season, we will make trades. But we got Dame, Dante, Ben Simmons, Brandon Clark, Vucevic. Off the bench, we have Mo Wagner, uh, Karis LeVert, Nemanja Bialitza, Thomas Bryant, and Jeremy Lamb. Hmm. I'm okay with that for now. If it's if we start to suck, then uh then I'll make some changes. First game of the season, a big time win. 148 points we put up. And Dame had 37 and 10. This might be matter of fact, let me do this now. I'm gonna make Dame our number one option. I'm gonna say play through star. And I want Dame to have an MVP type season. Game two. Going against, I saw Malcolm Brogdon, who's the opposing point guard. Anthony Davis on that team as well. Damian Lillard, 27-6. I think we're a championship team already. I think we're a championship team, and that's a good thing. I'm going to go to around here where the trade deadline is, and if I'm going to make a trade, I'll stop there. But if not, I'll see y'all at the end of the season. So we end up winning 67 games. Luka won MVP, took it away from Damian Lillard, because I know Damian Lillard had a crazy season. But uh, great numbers from all of these. Ja? And a Celtics jersey kind of looks nice. I'm going to be honest with y'all. That kind of looks nice. I'm not saying I would rather see him in this jersey than, a, you know, a Grizzlies jersey. But I'm just saying this jersey don't look too bad on him. And he had a great season as a rookie. Uh, Ricky Rubio wins six man. Defense player goes to Kawhi. Luka most improved. And Kenny Hardaway Sr. wins Coach of the Year. Rookie coach. The defense is not great. The offense is amazing. All right, so where's our boy, Damian Lillard? All-NBA second team. How much did he average to make all-NBA second team? 35, 6, and 3 gets you second team with 50, 40, 90 shooting splits? What does Steph Curry average? 33. Yep, Steph Curry deserved it. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But 66.6% .6 from the field is ridiculous. 2K, fix your game. There's no point guard shooting this at this volume. He should have. He should be in MVP conversations, but he had to settle for All NBA second team. Um, defensive team, we won't have anything. I don't think, right? Portland Trail Blazers. No, we didn't. We, I didn't go out and get an elite defender. I didn't think it was necessary. I think it was necessary. Around the league, by far the best team in the league. It wasn't even really close. Um, our statistics as a team: Ben averaged 16, 6, and 7. Or I guess we'll round up 16, 7, and 7. 14 for Vucevic. I mean. We just got a lot of Damian Lillard buckets. And you know what? I won't complain about that. Dante DiVincenzo averages eight good numbers. And then Brandon Clark averages eight good numbers as well. All right. So we're going against the Pelicans who have Chris Paul again. That's cool. Chris Paul, Zach Levine. It's a good team. Joel Embiid on there too. Myers Leonard as they are starting power forward is a big no-no. And they got swept. They got swept. But how did Leonard play? Maybe he was better than I expected him to be. Oh, he... 
well, he averaged five in the playoffs. That's not good. Next round, we're going against the Warriors, who have Steph Curry, Buddy Heald, Hunter, Bogdanovich, and Derek Favors. Other than Steph Curry, I'm not worried about this team at all. And there you go. On the road to our first championship, Anthony Davis. Malcolm. We beat this team in the second game of the season. I remember that. Jordan McRae is their starter shooting guard. I ain't worried about a thing. Oops, not Simcast. They take a game. We go up 2-1, 4-1, sweep. And then we go against the... Oh, they went to a game seven over here. They went to a game seven over here. But we end up with the Detroit Pistons, Paul George, Gordon Hayward, Paul Millsap, and Montrez Harrell with Jeff T. They had a veteran team right there. I respect that. But uh, first championship, and Dame averages 48-6 and six in the finals. Yes, sir. The best finals performance of all time, if you ask me, without doing any research. So now it is the offseason. And uh, this offseason is going to go back pretty fast because I'm not looking to change anything. Everybody on our roster, uh, other than DJ Augustine, who did not play for us, technically. He did not play. He was the 11th man on the roster. Alex Lynn did not play. So everybody else, Tim Frazier, when did he get on the roster? Everybody else is under contract, and that's the way I built my team because I knew. I mean, I didn't know, but I, I knew that we had the potential to win a championship, and I would just want to bring everybody back. So I traded for guys that were under con multiple-year contracts for that exact reason. But we do still need a backup one. And that's pretty much all we really need. So let's go sign somebody with like our mid-level, 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 it's at mid-level exception. Okay, let's see. Do we just bring back? I'm gonna just bring back DJ Augustine on the one plus one team option. Cause you know what? Oh, you say no to that, huh? How about I offer you the same contract format? Um. How about now? Okay, he's going to accept it now. Look at that. DJ obviously is back to the team. Bro, Alex Lynn may end up being back on the team too. Let's see. Where, where's Alex Lynn at? How much money would an Alex Lynn type player want in today's climate? 5.5? Sure. Just bring back the whole roster. Except for Tim Frazier, of course, because forget Tim Frazier. All right, play a progress. Let's see how good Dante and Brandon Clark get. Okay, Ben Simmons gets a lot better, but that's because we changed him to a small forward. I forgot Mo Wagner was on the team. Um, he gets up four, but that's again, we changed him from a power four. I mean, a center to a power four. So his overall goes up there. Dante DiVincenzo only jumps up one. That's very surprising to me. DJ Augustine gets worse. Where's Bernie Clark? Bernie Clark jumps up one as well. That sucks. You know what I'm saying? I was expecting them to jump up way more than just one. That's that's kind of lame. That's one of the reasons. I, I mean, they're older. Like, Bernie Clark is, was basically the oldest rookie in the class other than um, with Cam Johnson, right? So it makes sense if they have him topped out early, but come on, bro. I think Brandon Clark has great potential. Season two is wrapped, then Luka goes back to back. Kevin Love, sixth man of the year with the Grizzlies. Kawhi defense player of the year, RJ most improved. I mean, that boy right there knows exactly what he's doing. Um, 65 wins. Is that the same exact as last year? I don't remember. I think it's in the same ballpark at least, so we'll take that. We'll David Lillard, NBA second team again. This time, 33, 6 and a half. He didn't got that up. And he's still... Oh, not 50, 40, 90. Not 50, 40, 90 this year, bucko. That is... That's tough, man. You falling off, Dave. I may have to trade you. 30 years old. You falling off. Just... Whew. Man. I'm I'm, dis I'm disappointed. All right. Let's see how this goes. Ben Simmons made an all-defensive team, which is dope. Let's take a look at our stats for this year. Um, Here they are, if you were wondering. No big deal. First round, we're going against the Houston Rockets. De'Aaron Fox, Anthony Anthony Davis switch teams, right? He won on this scene last season. I think he was on, like, the Kings or something. Oh, my God. I had a sneeze. So, we have the Clippers. Shea Gilders is back with the Clippers. But he's with Russell Westbrook. He's with Otto Porter, Eric Pascal, and Steven Adams. Actually, a really, really good team. I'm surprised they were just a four seed. And they barely got out of the first round. So, that tells me they ain't all that tough, bro. 2 0 us. 3 0 so we get back to the conference finals. Go against the 6 seed who have Yanis. Yanis at the Kumpo and the most valuable asset in NBA history, Alec Burks. Jackson Hayes is starting. Okay, that's interesting. They were the 6 seed, though. I don't really, yeah, I'm not too afraid of them. Other than Giannis, obviously. Giannis can do a lot of crazy stuff, though. 2 0 us, 3 1. And we get out of there to go against the Toronto Raptors, who go to a game 7 with the 5 seed out east. And that game wasn't really close. But Kevin Durant and John Wall, that's that D.C. connection. Even though I don't think John Wall is from D.C., he just plays in D.C. But you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? DeLon Wright, Maxi Kleber, JaVale McGee. Game one. 
Okay, JaVale is the reason they win this game. Five blocks, 20 points, 13 rebounds. All right, okay. I'm I'm here for it. I am here for it. Game two, we win. 20-point win. Kevin Durant is still a monster. But uh, Dante DiVincenzo, great game. Vucevic, great game. 16 and 17. I love that, Vucevic. Let's keep it going. Game three is a win for us. 20-point win. Dame Dollar, he ain't go average 47 in the championship like he did last year. But he going to take home that finals MVP. Best believe he going to take home that finals MVP. And he does. 33 points per game. 7 assists. 2 rebounds. 3 peats are easy. I'm saying that way too early. We still got one more year to go. And this free agency is going to be a little bit different than last year's. Because we have some rookie team. We have some team options. Some rookie deals to pick up. Yada yada. As you can see here. I'm going to leave uh, DJ Augustine. Because he did get a lot worse this season. But we're picking up these team options here. The 2 year team option for Brent Clark. Mo Wagner and Dante DiVincenzo. So we're going to try to three-peat and then switch teams after this season. The way we're going to switch teams, though, um, the money be a let's, uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, we don't need them. We don't need them at all. So how do we pick our next team? We're going to do it the same way we picked our first team. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to randomly shuffle through. And whatever team we land on is a team we're taking over. Whether that be the best team in the league, worst team in the league, it don't matter. I got to switch them and have them win a three-peat. All right, so re let's bring in Austin Rivers. I don't really care that much. Uh, DJ Augustine, I'll release you. Uh, Austin Rivers, come on to the squad and get you a free ring, my brother. You will not be needed to even touch the floor. Clap super hard, get some Gatorade for Damian Lillard, and guess what? You get a free championship, and you get a free championship, and you get a everybody gets a free championship when they become a part of the Portland Trailblazers. This is supposed to be the most, the most hard year. Steve Kerr said, the last year of a 3 P is the hardest year. So, let's go. Uh, John Moran won MVP. Lonzo, six man of the year. AD, defensive player of the year. Most approved went to DeAndre Aiden and Kenny Hardaway, baby. 66 wins this time around. And the defense is better than last year and the year before that. But do we got, do we have Dame Lillard? This man is all NBA second team out every single year. Just second team, second team, second team, second team. He cannot get to that. That first team. But we have a third team, and that is Ben Simmons. You know, average 28 and 6.5. And ben Simmons doing his thing, Dizzle. All right. And he made an all-defensive team. So, again, we are the one seed. What did you expect with 60-plus? And here are the statistics for these years, if you care. Let's get this championship out of the way, man. So, now we're going against the Pelicans. Their team is looking a little bit different because they have Ronald, I mean, Robert Arnold. I don't know why, how I blended those names together, but I did. Um... And he's a good 80 overall, generated guy. But he ain't standing a chance against Brandon Clark. And we're going against OKC in the second round. We have Darius Garland, Colin Saxon. Them boys could not get away from each other. OG Ananoe, Terry Sims, and Cat. They had a small front court. They 2-1, 3 They. This is the furthest team to take us in the series this video. Six games. Six games. Now Denver. Luka. I dread it this day. Going against Luka. All right. Game one. So when... Do we just sim this? Are we going to beat them? They take game two. Game three. Won't go down like this, Luka. I best believe I was shorting my rotation so Damian Lillard is playing 41 minutes a game. I do not care. He ain't my problem. After we win this championship, I will never have to deal with Damian Lillard again. His knees can break today. Not today. After we win the championship. And it would not be my problem. All right. So we go to the Indiana Pacers. We go against them. Zion is their star player. They got George Owen, Robert... Andre Roberson, uh, Kelly Oubre, and Matres Harrell in, in there as well. Uh, I think the Luka team is better, so we should be able to handle this team pretty easily. 2-0 us. 3-0 us. And the first... Nope. Hold on. Hold on. Don't speak too soon. The first half of the Field, field Jackson Challenge is done. Dave goes back to back to back and finals MVPs. There you go. Logo Lillard. He did his thing. Okay. Let's go to league meetings. Uh... You know, reject everything. We're going to go to coach and staff signing. We're going to fire Kenny Hardaway. Because whatever team we select next is going to sign Kenny Hardaway. All right? So here's the moment of truth. I'm going to close my eyes. As you can see, they are closing. Closed. And I'm going to stop this in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What are the chances? We get all users. Okay, close my eyes again. That's a 1 in 31 chance that that would happen, and it happened, okay? So we're going to close our eyes again. Stop in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The Lakers. The Lakers are getting the championship. 
Trailblazers, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. I got y'all three championships. That's more than, way more than what y'all originally had. Now we get the Lakers another one. And the who do the Lakers have? Clay, Valanciunas, DeMontis Sabonis, Ricky Rubio, Justice Winslow, Bismack Biombo, Patrick Beverly. All of these guys are free agents, bro. Like, what the heck? All of these guys are free agents. But somehow we still... Oh, we have the cap hold on all of these players. Why the heck is Joe Ingles cap hold $21 million? Sheesh. Okay. All right. So let me go out there and I'm going to sign our boy Kenny Hardaway. Senior. Kenny Hardaway Senior. To be our coach, Frank Vogel. Thank you for being a great coach. But look at that. Kenny Hardaway Senior. He's got no offers. He's going to sign. And we are off to the races what type of pick we have the 21st pick so we did make the playoffs this season didn't make the playoffs this season um clay making that much money is kind of scary to me so i mean i'm gonna flip clay he's already 32 years old and when he's with the lakers he's had a great season do not get me wrong but him being 32 years old making this much money is kind of scary so i did see that first trade for pascal siakam that is a a deal unless i see something better than that and so far i am not so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that that's a deal right now. And then I'm going to also go to Team Intel and see who has what. Yeah, I think Pascal's a trade. I think Pascal's a trade. I think free agency is going to be nice for us this season too. So Pascal Siakam, welcome to the team. He's making big time bank as well, but I'm okay with that. And now we go to free agency, which should be interesting. We'll have some money to spend, y'all. We'll have some money to spend to basically fill out an entire roster. Um, Julian Palmer. He was the 19th overall pick last season, or a couple seasons ago. He still hasn't played a single... Well, he's played a few minutes because he's had a steal in his career. For $2 million, sure. Welcome back. Um, the rest of these guys, though. Who are you? Dean Adrian? You didn't do anything. You shot inefficiently last year. This guy didn't touch the floor. I'm not offering any offers to any of y'all. All right, so now free agency's here. And let's, as you can see, we have money to spend. Who is our biggest birds right players? Ooh, we have a decent amount of them. Oh, wow. Our whole roster sitting right here in free agency. But Kyrie Irving doesn't have a single offer. So why wouldn't I go for Kyrie Irving? You know, Zach Lee doesn't have an offer, but I won't have the money for that. Kyrie Irving coming to the Lakers. No LeBron. No LeBron. We get Kyrie Irving to come to the Lakers. Uh, we'll have to renounce the rights on a decent amount of people. Valentunas. Yeah, we have to renounce the rights on all of these guys to bring in Kyrie. 100% worth 100% worth he is 30 already he is 30 years old but even a 30 year old Kyrie can, is gonna get down he's gonna not many people are still staying in front of a 30 year old Kyrie let's see what type of numbers he put up last season yeah he played for the Knicks uh 50 40 90 club three years in a row I didn't realize I had Sabonis on my roster when I traded for Pascal so what I will do oh I'm gonna make Pascal a small four in real life probably won't work but this, we're playing a game, a fictional basketball game, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Um, so we need a center and a point and a shooting guard, and then an entire bench. Uh, we spent a lot of money to get that guy on our roster. You know what I'm saying? So our shooting guard, we have Kyrie Irving as our point guard. Josh Richardson will fit nicely alongside him. As far as fitting the triangle offense, who's the best guy? Whoa, George Hill. All right. Uh, but he's a 30. No, he's 36. He's 36. Dennis Schroeder fits. I'm very surprised at some of these names that are saying that fits the triangle offense. And I wonder why. And who doesn't fit? Bums. Okay, he's a 50. He's a 57 overall. He's not going to fit anywhere. I need to find a shooting guard that I can afford and that fits. I mean, hey. You know? Uh, we still make a trades. Obviously, we still make trades. And I'm going to wait till the season starts to do that. But, bruh, our roster's looking like this. Not bad. I mean, it's not bad on the surface level. Uh, but it needs a lot of work after, like, this guy... 12th overall pick last season he didn't play a single minute you better have some good trade value because uh we need that three star value three star value is not bad three star value is not bad so we'll throw him in there with i mean honestly daniel tyson him in the first oh we got picks the 76ers picked from that pascal siakam trade so we're looking for uh upgraded our center position that's who we're really looking for we got chris boucher here ah steven adams is good obviously this is going, the second half of this three-peat is going to be tough. I don't know how we do it. Um, so, Sabonis, 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 Sabonis. I love Sabonis. 
Um, but if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that Sabonis never puts up all-star type numbers when in reality he's, you know, he's a very... I mean, it's been a while, chat. It's been a while since I've completed that trade. I've avoided it for every purpose. But a brother, have to, I have to do this one. I have to do it this time around. Yes, I'm giving up a decent amount. I just wish Sabonis was a better player in this game. So we're going to do that trade. I'm going to make him a power forward. Y'all know how BAM statistics look when you make him a power forward. Um, what is his name? I'm lost, bro. I'm, I'm lost. What is his name? This boy, this, this boy here. <laughs> His parents did him dirty. As dirty as you could do your child when it comes to naming them. That's what they did. They did him dirty. They really named this boy. But the, but the, oh, wow. Um, okay, let's try to build the rest of our roster. He has to stay on the team, by the way. It's no way around it. This man is on our roster for the the rest of the three P. If I can help it. See, I <laughs> I saw D Rose and thought, did I just accidentally trade for Derek? No, it's his little cousin. Um, you know, I don't. I want to stay monetized here, so I won't. I won't say his name. But you saw that man's name and how bad of a name it really was. I don't know how we get this team better. The problem is, okay, let's let's address the problem. Three players making $30 million, and this dude's always making 40. It's gonna be hard to build a team that way. I think I have to make this trade. Um it makes our team just more complete to have Zach Levine. I'm gonna make him a small forward. And he is only on a one-year deal, so I just hope that he can stay loyal. But we needed a, a new center. Um, and we got that in Wendell Carter. So our team is looking Kyrie, Josh Richardson, Zach Levine, Bam Adebayo, and Wendell Carter. We got D. Rose, but not the one you're thinking of. Daniel Tice, Markeith Morris, and Damian Dotson completing our rotation. That ain't great. So let's try to fix that. Let's try to fix that up. I did not notice that those are players that are completing our roster. Okay, um, I can I still cannot believe that man name is uh what it is. All right, we Clark King. No, we don't need another center. We have Daniel Tice as our backup. So we need a guy like Luca. Golob, Luka Golob from from Slovenia. What are you good at? What are you good at, Luka? Um, good shooter. And actually, yeah, great shooter. That's pretty much it. As a small forward, athletic. He's athletic. Good potential. Twenty three years old. Sure, deal. I mean, he's he's better than Damian Dotson is. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good backup. And then uh, backup power forward. I mean. When I have an elite point guard, I don't really care about the point guard position as far as the backup goes. So let's go try to get a backup power forward that is better than the Morris brother. I'm going to trade for Nas Reed. Nas Reed, that boy is not afraid to take a jump shot. And we're going to make him a power forward. I bet his overall goes up. I mean, everybody's overall goes up. But he is going to an 81. So Nas Reed is going to complete the rotation there. And I think we are done. Is this team better than our last team? It's probably not. Uh, actually, let's go first game of the season. Let's see. Going against the Kings. We beat them by 20. Kyrie, Nas Reed off the bench, put up 19. Beautiful. D. Rose put up 19 off the bench. Second game of the season. We win again. Uh, D. Rose, bro. D. Rose is nice. And Nas Reed has been nice, too. Hold on. Let's go one more game. One more game. And it is another, another win where Nas Reed comes off the bench. D. Rose, not bad. Okay, so I'm going to simulate this season. And hopefully we start a 3 P. Season is wrapped in. Kyrie won MVP. Bro, this is insane because legitimately I was questioning whether signing him was worth it. And he goes out and wins MVP to prove that it was. Shout out to Kyrie Irving here, man. Uh, man, that is be that is a beautiful, beautiful thing, man. And we won 68 games, which again is the most Kenny Hardaway's ever, ever had. I cannot believe that. Is Damon all NBA player? See, oh, he's third team now. See, Kenny Hardaway is no longer his coach. And he's not playing as well as he did when Kenny Hardaway was his coach. Kenley Hardaway is just elevating players. Pascal Siakam. Oh, we traded him away. Freak. I forgot. I forgot we traded him away. And he had an amazing season. All right. Um, 
That's going to be irrelevant once we win this championship. Dante DiVincenzo, all defensive team, but he's on a new team. He When Kenny Hardaway left, he left. Okay, 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 okay. So we ended up being a one seed, as you can probably imagine. Um, but right behind us is our Portland Trailblazer team. So if we end up meeting these guys in the, the conference finals, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. So let me look at some statistics. MVP Kyrie, y'all saw that. We need to be able to bring back Zach Levine, man. I hope I can. Bam puts up great numbers for him. D Rose puts up very good numbers as well. Nas Reed off the bench, bro. He had never scored in an NBA game before. Ever. Until this season where he averaged 13. It's amazing. Josh Richardson, kind of underwhelming. 11 points per game. We know Carter wasn't there to score anyway, so his eight don't matter. Luca Gobi. Go, go, go lob. Pretty good numbers. Okay. First game of first playoff series, Kobe White, Bradley Beal, Will Barton. Good roster, bro. I'm a, how are they the eight seed? I don't know. Don't matter. They get swept. Utah. Um, Dante DiVincenzo going against this old Colts, man. Robert Williams and Jason Tatum are on the same team together. We beat them in five. As you can see, the Portland Trail Blazers get eliminated in the first round. <sighs> Tough. Tough. And now we're going against this team. Mikael Bridges, the Colin Sexton, and uh, Darius Garland backcourt. Car Anthony Towns, they was a sixth seed, and we sweep them to go against the Boston Celtics, who have Ja, who won MVP last season. So this should be an interesting matchup, man. They also have Victor Oladipo. I think I saw Enos Cantor as their starting center, so we'll take advantage of that. 2-0, 3-0. Come on, man. Come on, man. First year, the second three-peat is under. It's, un it's over. It's over. And Kyrie becomes... Uh, one of the few players to win uh, regular season and finals MVP in the same season. This is what I'm mostly afraid of. Going to this uh, free agency period and losing Zach Levine will be tough. Uh, I'm bringing all of these guys back because they're cheap and they play their roles. What can I say? Nas Reed, 100%. He had a great season for us. But here's the moment of truth. Nas Reed wants two. I, I better pray that nobody offers that man that money. Zach Levine, please, brother. Oh, do we just not? Do we just lose him? I think we just lose him. I think we just lose him. I think we just lose him. Zach Levine. All right, here's player progression. Um, I'm probably going to trade Wendell Carter. $30 million for his type of production is not amazing. So I'll probably flip him and try to figure out what we do with that small forward position. Not as Zach Levine is no longer there. But I feel I don't think Zach Levine signed a contract. I don't think he did. I think he's still in free agency. No, he's not. But Mark Hill, they want $7 million? I may come back and talk to y'all. Um, I don't know exactly being signed, but on the last every agency, he was still up there. So I don't, he probably signed like a minimum somewhere and I, he wouldn't accept my minimum. Where is he at? Oh, we made him a small forward. Where the heck did he end up going? 91 overall now. <laughs> Beautiful. And he signed with the Cavs for, oh, they gave him that bag. Never mind. So he ended up getting his bag eventually. Good for him. Good for him. Wendell Carter and some picks. I got, I got to get out of here. $30 million for his type of production is not amazing. Click Capella's making, what? <laughs> no. No, thank you. No, thank you, sir. If I do a trade, it would have to be for a for guy like Shea, who is under contract for the rest of his rebuild. You know, but then that leaves our center position wide open. So if somehow I can snag two pieces for the price of one, I'd walk out of here happy man. RJ just averaged 26 points per game. I want that. I'm also bringing in uh, some guy named Berea. Uh, I'll probably flip him for that center position that I need, but I wanted RJ. I don't think I've ever had RJ on a roster before, and I think I'm gonna make him a small forward. Um, this new version of RJ is elite, bro. You saw how many points per game he was averaging? Elite, elite. So where's the new guy I just brought in? Oh, this guy, Berea. Oh, he's only making $2 million. I should have probably paid attention to that. So him and Daniel Tice in a first round pick, please. I, some There's gotta be an elite center out there that is cheap. Ooh, who the heck is Junior Chapman? He's cheap, but uh, we don't need that anymore. We're looking for a center that's cheap. This guy's a power forward that's cheap, but we don't need that either. We need a center that is cheap, but I'm not trading for Jaleel Ogafor. I tell you that much. Kim Birch? Oh, boy. Why is this, Why do we get to this point? You know why this is a thing? Because everybody... You you know why 2K is bad. Oh, Bo Bo. Bo Bo. It's on last year of his deal, though. <sighs> Tough. Okay, I'm going to trade for this guy. Albert Cameron. Let's, I, I don't... I mean, he can shoot. Um, good perimeter defender for a power forward. Good post defender. I mean, his defense is where he hangs his hat. Three defensive badges. Um, but the reason I'm trading for him and not a center is I'm just going to make Bam Adebayo back to our center. His overall does go down. 
but uh we needed a center we can find one so we just gonna transition bam back over there what can i what else can i really do i'm gonna try to trade josh richardson too because josh richardson hasn't done anything uh, and i need players that last year of his deal worth last year of his deal man we just gonna continue to rotate these hired guns zach levine last year Jalen brown this year just players that maybe are just here for one season but that one season they are elite and they help us win the championship so last thing i wanted to do was go into free agency and just sign a center um where the heck is there's free agency sign a center oh every center free agency wants a ridiculous amount of money okay so forget that i'm just gonna simulate luca wins mvp this time around we won a total of 64 games so less than last season uh i think it's the weakest season we've had but it's still an amazing season we still win coach of the year as you can see um but no Kyrie in all nba first team second team here he is okay he's 32 years old y'all uh he averages 28 6 and 4 50 40 90 club is again that's just what he do spencer dinwiddie all nba team is so surprising but he averaged 25 and 9 wow spencer dinwiddie shout out to him man shout out to him Okay, so we are the Lakers. I keep forgetting that. Uh, Kyrie is the only guy. Okay, so LA Lakers, man. First round, we're going against the Suns. But before that, let me show y'all statistics because I know a lot of y'all do enjoy just seeing what the heck went on around the league. RJ ended up averaging 23, which is great. Bam, jumps up to 16. Jalen Brown, only 14. That ain't great. Tired gun ain't really shooting like that. Our boy D. Rose looking great. Uh, first, so first round, like I said, we're going against Phoenix. Let's get out of there real easy and sweet quickly oh my god okay it's gonna be one of those seasons huh it's gonna be one of those playoff runs where we end up going seven no we're going eight man rotation i refuse who did i start in nas reed is starting to power forward over this guy i mean sure nas reed just had a very good season this is gonna be one of those seasons where teams are taking us to six and seven. Oh, okay never mind oh okay cool it was just that first round. It was just that first round. It was that wake up call. Y'all, we are one year away from completing this challenge. And I am I am on my, my toes because I'm afraid. I'm afraid of us choking this five years into it. It wouldn't be the... F Bam declined this, this option. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, okay, Bam. Please. Who else? I, I could have swore I just saw Jalen Brown up here, too. Am I tripping? Where's Jalen Brown? Where's Jalen Brown? I don't think I'm going to be able to bring back Jalen Brown. But our boy D. Rose is still up there. I keep the rights. I want to keep the rights on Nas Reed, too. Are you kidding me? Nas Reed is great. Jalen Brown. I, again, hired gun. Thank you. You help us win another You help us win another championship. But I'm going to let you go out there and uh, test your mark. No, I do still have the bird rights. D. Rose. D. Rose was crazy amount of money. Everybody wants crazy amount of money, bro. What the heck? Is it possible for us to have this expensive of a roster? Yeah. Okay. I won't complain. It's my last year anyway. I ain't got to deal with the debt of the LA Lakers after this video. No way. Okay. Um. So everybody's basically back that matters. So we're going to win a championship again. Great. Okay. All right. Last season is here, y'all. Last season is here. Let's finish off this strong. No matter what happens, the challenge is over. I'm not going for another three-peat. There's no way. If we get eliminated, we get eliminated. It's over. Um, and he, Ben Simmons won defensive player of the year. That's cool, but he's not on our team anymore. Kenny Hardaway just came in as the greatest coach of all time, baby. Greatest coach. Uh, Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Where are we at? Um, there's Kyrie. 28 points per game. And Darius Garland, all NBA player. Okay, Darius. All right, all right. Do your thing, brother. As you can probably tell, I am completely drained uh from this video already but you know what it's the last season so let's finish it off strong here are our statistics if you're wondering um d rose again another great season man memphis memphis grizzlies have bagley jared culver should be a pretty solid season or series and it wasn't we sweep them now we're going against Giannis, michael porter jr short king isaiah thomas and rudy gobert see how this goes and we beat that beat them in five denver luca okay we've only faced luca one time this video 2-0, we sweep, Philly, I'm sorry, L L Olf, Freder Fredrickson, sorry brother, you made it to the finals for no reason, we're about to get in that butt, thank you, and that is it, 
six years, six championships, two three-peats with two different organizations. I mean, this, this roster turned out to be pretty good, man. From where it started, it ended up being pretty good. Kyrie, Bam Adebayo, RJ, and Jalen Brown all hit over a 90. And that boy D. Rose, he's only 25, man. He was still getting better and better. He's still getting better and better. I didn't even notice this right here. Is that there the entire video? Okay, you can't you can't see it here. Either way, if you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. I don't know how long this video is, but I'm assuming it's a long one. So if you got to this point, just type in D Rose in the comment section.